Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Michigan, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of state senator according to the best of your ability? Michigan's legislature now open for business as new members of the state Congress are sworn in and joining me now to talk more about it and the session getting started is Christy McDonald and they have a lot ahead of them. They absolutely do Rhonda. It is a big day in Lansing the 102nd legislature being sworn in and while that is always significant new lawmakers new agendas this House and Senate reflects a new generation in Michigan. Okay first off there is a power shift in Lansing for the first time in 40 years Democrats are in the majority in both the House and the Senate, and the governor is also a Democrat. So what does that mean? It means the Democrats can push their agenda in the legislature and get sign off from the governor. But Democrats do realize they have to work with their Republican counterparts because their majority is just so slim, just two seats in the House and two in the Senate. And as they all get sworn in today, the agenda will start to shape up. How are we supporting workers? How are we ensuring that uh, we are protecting families, focusing on pocketbook issues? I'm a conservative Republican from, from the middle of Macomb County. Um, I'm gonna have a different thought process than someone in a different part of the state, but that's kind of what makes the legislator cool. That's what makes it, makes it a, a very interesting place to work in. And I think that that means that we can get a great work product out. We will know more as the day goes on, but on the list of priorities that we've heard, repealing the tax on Michigan's pensioners, also repealing right to work, that has been on the books since 2012, and also possibly moving up Michigan's presidential primary. And here's also something interesting about this new legislature. Some numbers for you. They're younger than in years past. 55% are 50 years old and younger. Women make up 40% of both the House and Senate. The first woman, Winnie Brinks, serves as the Senate Majority Leader. And we have the first African-American Speaker of the House with Representative Joe Tate. And there are seven representatives who are from the LGBTQ community. So different perspectives to bring into governing our state, Rhonda. Well, we have a very diverse state, so it's nice Absolutely. to see that representation. Now, I know this is the first time that all of our legislators are going to be under the new term limits, which is voted in by the voters back in November. Right. And how I look at it, it's not really a, it is a limit, but it's a higher one. Yeah, it is. And it changes things a little bit because Michigan used to have the shortest term limits in the country, six years in the House, eight years in the Senate. So and on one side, you could argue we get new perspective with different lawmakers when you have that turnover. But critics say it also caused short term focus on small wins for reelection instead of hashing out those long term policy issues like education or maybe business development. So this legislature is under the new term limits of 12 years in either chamber, giving them time to know the issues, make relationships to hopefully move Michigan forward. So there is a lot to watch here. Robert. Yeah, there certainly is. Yeah. Thank you for that perspective this noon. Appreciate it.